Hi, uh, my name is Tian Yichou, and today I'm presenting our new approach to optimize large language models titled Heavy Hitter Oracle for Efficient Generative Inference. So large language models have made impressive performance in dialogue systems and story writing, but they come with high development costs, especially when generating long content. The primary challenge include the model size, the intensive memory requirements of attention layers, and our solution, H2O, aims to tackle these issues effectively. So current efforts to improve large language models efficiency face significant challenges. Although there is a substantial, substantial body of work on sparse attention approximation, its practical application in reducing uh, development costs is limited. Solution like reformer, flash attention, and performer uh, still struggle with memory efficiency and, and maintaining accuracy during generative tasks. So the ideal solution would require a smaller memory footprint, ensure low data retrieval miss rates, and implement a cost-effective data eviction policy. At the core of H2O are uh, three pivotal concepts. First, we capitalize on the inherent sparsity of attention matrices in large language models, which are over 95% sparse at inference. This sparsity presents a significant opportunity for memory reduction. Second, our focus on heavy hitters, a small set of influential tokens is crucial. And these tokens follow a power law distribution in attention scores and are key during generation. Finally, we employ a Nova greedy algorithm for efficient cache management, pivotal in maintaining system performance. Uh, the heavy hitter oracle operates through a dynamic greedy algorithm. This algorithm's objective is to identify and retain the most influential token, the heavy hitters, during the gener generative process. Notably, H2O comes with a theoretical guarantee, ensuring its robustness and effectiveness to even under limited cache conditions. This makes uh, it a highly reliable solution in practical real-world uh, uh, applications. So let's see the example here. Uh, so, the last, so the left figure is the exact version of the attention computation. Imagine our model is currently predicting the word apple here. In this scenario, the model calculates the exact attention vector, denoted as the small o here considering all relevant factors in this computation. So for the exact version. So now let's shift to the approximate version. Here we have a constraint. We can only track a limited number of tokens, say three. So to adapt the model, truncate the key matrix for the first token, K1, and retains only K2, K3, K4 in the memory. So in this approach, uh, we only like use the Three, three number of the number of tokens is only three. Uh, this approach modifies the computation process. For example, it doesn't compute O one to O four, but only compute O two to O four here. In our empirical evaluation, uh, our H two O method demonstrates remar remarkable efficiency improvement in generative tasks. It is not only showed promise in end-to-end -end result, but also proved its strengths in high throughput generative inference scenarios. And also for the ablation study, we validate the importance of each component of our H2O design. In conclusion, H2O marks a significant advancement in addressing key development bottlenecks of large language models. Our results indicate a substantial move towards more cost-effective and efficient large language models. Looking ahead, we anticipate further optimization and broader application of H2O across various 
large language model scenarios, opening new avenues in AI and large language model research.